This is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. We are going to be making an origami skull. This is part of a series celebrating the Day of the Dead. In the description section of this video, you can find the links to video tutorials for all models shown here. To make one of this size, we need a piece of paper 6 by 6 inches, 15 by 15 centimeters. To make the bigger one, we use a paper 9.5 by 9.5 inches, 24 by 24 centimeters. The paper has to be dark, black or dark on one side, and white on the other side. This is canny paper, very thin. It can be made with um, office paper and if we have only white paper we can color just on the sides. I will show how to color when we have made a few folds. So we begin with the, the dark side of the paper facing up. We are going to make two pinch marks at the center. We make this rather long. We are going to bring the edges to the center. We are going to fold in a half. Now we are going to make a fold about here. We bring this edge to match the center. Repeat here. Unfold. Here I want to talk about coloring paper. If we have office paper, just white on both sides. When we arrive to this stage in the folding process, we just open the paper. We use a marker that doesn't bleed through. And we color only the areas that are going to be shown. These two corners will be the eyes. Color the sides. and color the center from this fold to the right. I made this one using this method. I will continue the demonstration with black and white paper. Now we are going to open, push from the side and reverse the fold. We have these two flaps, we swing them to the left. We are going to make a fold about here, bringing this point to this intersection. Unfold, and now we are going to reverse this as well. So open, push this in, following the folds that we just made. Now we are going to bring the flaps back to the right and we are going to make a fold starting at this intersection and ending at the edge. We start the fold right here. Bring the flap over. And the next guideline is that this edge is going to be parallel with the edge here. Same here. Mm -hmm. 
now we are going to create another fold right here bisecting this angle and to make that we pull from the flap push here this edge will lie flat on this line same here now we are going to make a fold about here we bring this point to this intersection repeat here we're going to rotate we're going to lift this flap locate this packet and we're going to be pushing from the edge Now we make a fold connecting these two points. If we omit this fold in the beginning, this can be a ghost. We have this as a valley fold. Now we are going to make a mountain fold right above it. To do that, we are going to turn this over and we are going to make it valley on this side. Now we need a guideline. This edge will align with this central mark. We don't mark this. We just bring this lower edge up to match with the edge here. Once they are matching, we hold here and let go. And then we make our fold. We bring this flap back to the front and we have a pleat. We are going to leave it open for the moment and now we are going to work on the nose. We can rotate again and we are going to locate a point about here. If we look at this distance of the eye, we locate the mid point about there, begin the nose. We are going to make a fold from that to about here. And we also have a guideline. So from there, we're going to get all this flap fold out and we are going to make this point touch this edge just as a guideline and we press only on this area we repeat here And we rotate again so we have this mountain fold we fold along there and then we have this valley fold we're going to come back to that and as we do that we are going to push with our thumbs so it's two folds at once push here and we fold the pleat. This is what we have underneath. So we're going to work on the area of the mouth. We rotate, turn over, and we are going to bring this lower edge toward the center. Only this point will touch the central mark that we have there. And before creating the fold, we are also going to insert our finger right here, this packet, 
and make sure to round the paper a little bit here to make it easier. So we bring this point in from the edge. It doesn't touch the edge, a little in. Notice the angle there. And softly move our fingers so that we come to the right and here we create a point. Then we can flatten all this section. We're going to rotate and repeat. Now we're going to blunt this corner and we can do it to taste. This will give personality and difference to each one of the figures that we make. We turn it over, rotate, bring the lower edge up to almost this point. We make sure that we see a little bit of the eyes, the top of the eyes. Once there, we can set the crease down here. We are going to make a fold along here, just above the fold that we have underneath. Now we are going to blunt these corners as well. So just take the corner in. And now we just open an inside reverse. We insert this section into the packet. To make the mouth, we are going to fold along here, parallel to the edge, just a little bit. Also, it can be more or less according to our taste. And now we are going to open here, press along, and here we flatten. Now if we want to round the eyes, like here, we just blunt the corners a little bit. We have three corners that we can blunt. Now we can add the accessories to make the lady and the gentleman. If you like what you find here on Origami Spirit, please consider sending us a contribution. We appreciate your support, which helps us bringing you the best content. In the description section of this video, you can find the links to video tutorials for all models shown here.